Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Vagrant Gaming. It's been a little while. If you are new to the channel, then welcome to what will hopefully be the start of doing some Final Fantasy Brave Exvius videos. If you're a returning viewer, well, hopefully this is a game that you might enjoy. So, the big deal right now is seeing if we can pull Hyo, and I'm probably going to be mispronouncing his name. So let's do some summons. Sadly, I mismanaged some of my resources, but I've got some tickets saved up, and there's a couple of tickets I can use in here, and who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. So, let's see what happens. Honestly, I'm not expecting too much in here. Okay, so I think that second sea breeze. I think that's the, that'll be the second sea breeze, so that can go up to seven star. That's that's okay. I think I've got one of these. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, not a rainbow, but that's okay. We still might get lucky. Oh my, there's a slight chance. Ah, oh, too bad. So that would be my second one of these, so if and when he hits 7 star, that might be exciting. Okay, this is a major, major long shot, but here we go. might reform. I doubt it, but it might. Oh, okay. That, that stings a little. Yeah, that character is not important. Alright, sadly I burned through a ton of tickets. But it couldn't hurt to throw a few. So we're going to use a few tickets and then we'll move on to the step-ups. Sadly, I got duped into trying to pull the Deuce X Man... Oh boy, Deuce X <laughs> Mankind Div Divided banner. I got suckered in trying to get Victor. Failed miserably. And uh, that took up a few tickets. So... Live and learn, as they say. Okay, got one Chital. I'm just going to click through these. Because, I mean, odds are nothing's going to happen, so I'm just going to speed this up. Who knows, maybe there's a useful uh, four-star base I'll pick up. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of Chitals. Which is kind of funny, because whenever there is one of those uh, yellow crystals that I want from a banner, it never shows up, and it takes me like a long time to get them. Like Liquid Metal Slime, for example. That took a long time to get. <laughs> Another Chital. The first time Liquid Metal Slime showed up and people were raving about how great his uh, potential was for tanking, I threw quite a few of those tickets at it trying to get him. Never got him. And then when the 
Dragon Quest banner came back again, it still took quite a few tickets to get him. Or Riku. Riku was one of the first trust masteries I got in this game. And her pouch there, Riku's pouch, is a really useful item. Got a lot of mileage out of that in like story events and farming events. It was just super handy. You could reform, buddy. You could do it. Aww. Um, uh, I think I might save those last five. Just for kicks, I'll use two of these real quick. Go figure. I don't think hope will do me too much good. Okay, no big surprises there, but that's fine. I think it's only like a 3% chance of getting anything impressive off of uh, one of your regular tickets. So that puts us in line for the step up. Alright, let's give it a go. Step one. And it's theoretically possible to get a rainbow at any point in time during this. I'm just not banking on it. Because what usually happens to me is nothing happens until the final step. But there's a first time for everything. And that's a uh, trust move or something? Welcome aboard, Domino. I'm very curious. Wait a minute, that might be him. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a trust move. Yeah, I... <laughs> Wishful thinking with a bad memory. So the only thing useful out of this is I can combine him for a step closer to getting Hill Digger, which is a nice uh, health bonus. Alright, step two. Okay, no big surprises here. Misty is not bad to have, and this one isn't bad either. Her Trust Master reward is like Magic Amplifier. That couldn't hurt. Okay, random rainbow. Let's see who we get. And I might take a break on the next step to use that ticket. I mean, why not? Let's see what we get. Okay, no big surprises here. I think I have one of her already. And funny story, when I first started playing the game, I didn't understand the whole thing with rainbows. And I've gotten this unit probably three or four times and either sold them or combined them because I thought the dragoons were useless when I was learning learning the game. So, yeah. Okay, step four. It would have been nice to see a rainbow come down, not gonna lie. Ouch. And a couple of people here I can combine. I think Locke and that's Timothy can combine those two. Besides that, not much of any use in there. And yeah, just cause I'm gonna use that ticket real quick. <laughs> and I'm not expecting much here, because that's a 90% chance of getting nothing. 
or, or 90% chance of getting nothing interesting. Yeah. No surprise there. Okay, slight surprise. Slight surprise. Oh. Well, this is interesting. This has never happened before. Oh, that's exciting. That's very exciting. I honestly thought I was going to get nothing out of that. Fantastic. I'm a happy camper right now. I'm a very happy camper right now. This... Oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I don't want to say anything. Okay. Moment of truth. Here we go. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Uh, but I guess Awaken Rain is good to have, and who knows, maybe I'll get a second one later on. Because, from what I heard, even on the JP side, to date, and there's several months ahead of us as far as content updates, he's still really useful as a magic tank. And I was hoping to do the three-star Diabolos Esper fight, so maybe he'll be useful for that. Okay, so that pretty much cleaned everything out, but I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of Lapis. And I'm going to try this one right here. So I'll probably do a quick break, grab some Lapis, and try that out. Um, I've been kind of looking forward to this banner for a while. So I've set some, uh, set some resources aside to make that happen. So we'll pick this up in a little bit. Okay, let's pick this up from where we left off and see what happens. Maybe something interesting will happen in round two. And um, one other thing is, even if this all goes sideways and I don't get a second one... Oh! Ah. Uh, well, I guess it's not bad having Lunara. Well, that's definitely not what I wanted. Yeah, that, that burns a little. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> but I guess she's a, a decent character to have, especially if you can get two of them. I've seen some people do some pretty impressive things with her in the arena. But um, worst case scenario, after the event ends, I've got a unit of choice ticket, and that's probably gonna go for getting the second heal for the seven star. Worst case scenario. Alright, step four. Bah! I want to see a rainbow come down. Okay, I'm getting... I'm cautiously optimistic. That guy, I don't think I'll get too much use out of. Bah! I forgot about that. Again, the bad memory got me again. Okay. Five times rate up. Here we go. Last chance. Oh, pretty. 
I'm... It's not even cautious optimism, I'm just excited now. It'd be funny if three of them popped out. Excellent. Alright. Excellent. So, here's the thing. I've got to make some room. <laughs> um, Moss always sticks on that. So, I'm going to... Wait. First, let's fix this, just to make sure. Now, for those of you who just wanted to see the results, and that's it, thanks for watching. For those who want to see what I'm going to build him into, feel free to stick around, because I've actually been stockpiling resources for a very long time in preparation for Hyo. And, um... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, I've been stockpiling resources, so I've actually got a... Not a perfect set of gear, but... A pretty good set of gear that I can use on him. I probably already went right past him. I have the worst vision when it comes to scrolling through looking for characters. Oh, no, never mind. There he is. Okay, we are now going to start the process of building Hyo, and hopefully I do this right. So, I got some tips that you're better off building up their uh, Limit Burst Mastery early on. So I'm going to use a couple of Burst Pots, and hopefully I don't overdo it. Because um, I haven't... I've only done this a couple of times. So, um... I might make a couple mistakes. But we're going to get him up to level 80. And I'm mostly using the Metal Kings and Metal Cactors from the current raid event. The Monster Hunter raid event. So that's going to be what's going to get him up there. And then I'm going to use some of the some of the resources that I have already saved up to once he hits his six star to push him up to max level hopefully alright so let's see how this goes One of these is full and one of them isn't. Okay, I'm going to use this one, and hopefully I don't ruin it. Oh, okay. Cool. It's just shy maxing it, so we'll start there. And I think I have a couple of more breast pots in my mailbox, so I'll check there after this. Yeah, and even if I left it there and progressed from this point, that's not bad. That's only a little bit missing. And actually, we want to get his attack power up there as well. So, actually, this might be the wrong one. That's charged to 29... Let's see if this does the trick. Yeah, pretty close. OK, 
Okay, that's a good start. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll wait on that MP one. Because I don't want to overdo it. Not yet. Now, I might be... It's possible I'm being overly cautious. And if I am, by all means, let me know in the comments. I just, I don't want to waste any of these, basically. So, once he gets bumped up to 6-star, the cap might increase enough where using those won't be an issue. And I'm just going to hit my mailbox real quick. Ah. Too full. Okay. And we'll do this, and we'll make some more room by eating up some more of those metal cactors. That's exciting. Okay, I'm going to use a bunch of the little ones. I'm not as worried about not optimizing their usage, especially since the raid event is still ongoing, and I'm going to be getting more of these. Plus, the last farming event that just ended, I've got some points saved up from those as well. Oh good, Faraja. I usually save these to do the uh, the free friend point summons, um, but just because I want to make room, I'm going to use them now. I know they'll they're not really going to touch how much experience he needs, but I'm just getting rid of those. I'll I'll probably clear the the arena board and use the points I get from that, other characters I get from that, and I combine those with some the free friend point summons, and that will hopefully um, take care of anything else. Let's see if this exceeds it. I think it will. Yeah, I'll wait on that. Alright, this is going to be a little bit of a waste, but it'll get him where he needs to be. Double blade. That's going to be fun, if that does what I think it does. I'm curious if it'll tell me if this exceeds it. I'm pretty sure that exceeds it. And I'll hold off. Because even if I don't fully max it up right away, I'm, I'm going to eventually be earning more burst pots. So let's check that mailbox now that there should be enough room. Really? Interesting. Oh, okay. I know what I did wrong. Silly me. Math is not my strong suit. Okay, so... Hmm. What I think I'll do then is... I don't think I did anything for his health, did I? Yeah, perfect. And let's see here. I'm not worried about his mag. Uh, let's give him that MP boost and I think defense, just cause. Yeah. And I can give him one for spirit. I've been partially saving all of these for him, so. And I might give him some magic boost, just, just cause. But this is a good start. I think that's pretty good. 
Alright, that should have freed up enough space at this point. Let's try this one more time. Because unless my brain is just completely wrong, I should have the three spots I need for these. Excellent. Let's clear that out. And now we're going to feed those right into them. Okay. Not doesn't cap it out, but it's close. I mean, I didn't think it would cap it out, but I wanted to get it as close as possible. Alright, so, now we are going to... Let's see here, I want to awaken units. Conversion. And let's find his dupe. I thought it would be down at the bottom. I was clearly mistaken. Where are you hiding? Ah, there you are. So let's convert you. Alright. And let's do it. One of the things I love about raid events is you if you bring someone like Zahn who can steal money from the boss, by the time you're done, you can make a good amount of money. And that's partially how I built up all the gel that I have right now. Yeah. Okay. He is now in his seven star form. Let's get you some experience. Alright, so someone recommended you get your trust... I almost said trust moves. You get your uh, your metal cactus up to level 55. Um, you mean obviously you can max one at 60, but someone said it's more economical to do it at 55. So, I tried that out. This is pretty much going to wipe out my stash of metal cactus, but since it worked out getting two Kyos, I've got a Wilhelm. I'm probably going to use my unit of choice ticket to get a second Wilhelm, and then I will have a awesome tank. And that'll be, that'll be exciting. Can give you a couple more. I'm not worried about banking on uh, a lucky roll or anything like that. I've been spending months building up all these resources to get him as built up as possible right out of the gate, and it's it's really satisfying to see all this paying off. Like all the all the different burst pots and everything like that, were just kept getting banked. All the power boosters, the boosters attack, defense, spirit, and magic, and all that fun stuff. But now is the other thing I've been saving up my resources for, and that is the trust master ease. So I want a hundred percent. Yep, you'll do. So right away. But wait, there's more. Check out these two. She's at 45. So I think Oh boy, now I gotta do math. I'm gonna embarrass myself again. I've got one of these built up to being level 55. Not you. Not you. Not you. There you are. 55. Boom. It exceeds it by a touch, but that's fine. So that is one martial glove. I was fortunate enough to get Elfrida here from the second time the Final Fantasy VII banner came around, where you could get Cloud. And the second one was just a random pull somewhere. And this should be 100%. Yep. So boom. I've been sitting on these two units for a while. They've just been kind of hanging out, waiting. And so that gives me two martial gloves. 
you probably can see where this is going. For those of you who might be new, that are just checking out this video, just cause, basically, um, two of those martial gloves will turn him into a very, very powerful person. But we're not done. Let's see here. The next guy I want, and he's probably right in front of me and I can't see him. Nope, there he is. Cloud. So I need about a 64. Is it this third one? Nope. That's a 50. There we are. 64. So now I have two martial gloves and buster style. And those are the three primary trust masteries that you need to turn Hyo into a world killer. The other trust masteries I pretty much already had. So... Let's equip him up. Let's start getting some gear on him. Uh, the other thing I did, and hopefully it's still here, the revolver is currently the only two-handed weapon I have of any note, and I was able to run it through Item World. I wanted to keep running it through to max it out. Yeah, my alarm just went off. <laughs> anyway. I was only able to get 17% attack boost and 12% to uh, a health boost, which is by no means bad. I would have liked to have maxed it out or at least gotten it to 30% because then he would not only have his full double hand bonus, but also the full 300% to his attack power. Didn't get that high, unfortunately. Let's take this. Now let's find your clothes. It's probably going to take me a couple of tries of scrolling back and forth to find them. Because my vision with this sort of thing is awful. I'm pretty sure I passed it. Yeah, let's try again. There we go. They were right in front of me the whole time. So his clothes not only give him 28 attack buff, which is amazing, but Blade Master, I'm pretty sure, is it gives him the true double hand passive and also gives him a 30% boost if he is using a greatsword. Which he is. Let's find those martial gloves. Maybe I'll get these on my first try. But who am I kidding? Ooh, wait, I actually did it. Usually I scroll past what I'm looking for two or three times. Alright, looking good. Looking good. Now we gotta give him Buster style. I have no idea where that's gonna be. <laughs> Large, oh, well. Large Sword Mastery is also important, but I want to put Buster Style on first, just cause. It doesn't appear to be in this section. Oh, wait, there you are. Buster Style. And then, we'll give you Large Sword Mastery. Alright, and then the other two slots, I'm going to use something called Fortitude and Vigor. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. I'm going to use Adventurer 5. Yes. And then, I'm going to use Fortitude and Vigor, which is down here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Now, um, this isn't best in slot. I guess the best weapon you can give him is Nalu's Super Trust Master Reward, which is a two-handed spear. I'm not going to see that maybe ever, if not for a very long time. So for the time being, just because I want to try out the whole optimizing of the dual hand, he's going to use the revolver. At some point, I might just get him a, a flaming greatsword, which would also be nice. And who knows, maybe one day a two-handed flaming or lightning greatsword will show up in the game, and that would be fantastic. But yeah. Um. Buster Style, Large Sword Mastery, Adventurer 5, Fortitude and Vigor, two martial gloves, Chris's hairpin, his own clothing, and a two-handed greatsword sets him at a nice 2,054 attack. Fantastic. But there's a couple more enhancements we can try to do. I think... I don't think his attack is, is actually maxed out. If this exceeds it, I might... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not exactly sure how much health he needs. I mean, he's not a tank. I should probably save that big one for Wilhelm anyway. And yeah, let's run that. 
Okay, so his attack bar actually can take a bit more. Oh yeah. I think that's all my attack bots. Yeah, that's all my attack bots that I have here, but there might be a couple more in the mailbox. So let's run these through. Let's see where we're at. Twenty-two hundred attack, and he's at twenty-six out of thirty for his limit burst. Now his limit burst is insanely powerful. I'm really excited about maxing that out, especially if I can get some Kyo allies, and they also have their limit burst up there. Um, I might be able to cruise through several boss fights. Good amount of health. Yeah, he's looking good, looking sharp. Let's give him a bit more. Wait, hang on. There we go. That's better. And these are just because. I know he's not a caster, but I mean, I've been saving up most of the stuff for him anyway. It's not going to kill anything. Not that I'm ever really going to be using his magic skills. Yeah, a little bit of spirit. Alright. Excellent. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um... And next, I'm going to test him out. So, grab you, and you, and we'll grab you. And I forgot, I have a ton of, <laughs> I have a ton of cactars in here I could have grabbed. Silly me. Ah, well, it's all going to work out in the end. I have a bunch of bundled up enhancements that, um... Oh, I just collected everything. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, well. I've been saving up most of these. Like, every day I'll buy a bundle of enhancement just to have it, and I think, you know, I'm eventually going to be awakening some 7 stars, so it'll come into play then. I think... I don't think I can actually go in and do anything yet, because I probably capped out... Yeah, I probably capped out... Well, yeah, they won't let me go into any missions like this. Let's see here. Does this exceed it? If it exceeds it, I might... Let's use this instead. Yeah, use you instead. And you. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, okay, it's only one point. I can probably clear the arena board and get that final piece that I need. So he's just one teeny pot away from maxing out his attack. And just gonna check the count. Okay, good. A couple of slots open. So I'm going to swap my team around. Um, Nalu was mostly there to chain with lightning. So that's not really going to be a thing anymore. We'll put Reagan back in. So Reagan's going to need some weapons. And the last time I used Reagan, his job was... I forgot this was enhanced. 17% right, attack, not bad. Um, Reagan's last job was mostly chaining with, like, um, Fravia. I think I was using him with Fravia. It was fun teaming those two together. And I had a build in mind to get his attack power reasonably high. I'm looking for something called a Fury Ring. Which I probably scrolled past already. But worst case scenario, I can also use the Clan Master's headband. Oh, there we go. Alright, I think that's all. Heroes of Isle, Katana Master, you Fortitude and Vigor, and I think, if I remember it right, he's only about 20% away. Let me check, 1162. I think Katana Enhancement will do the trick. scrolled past it again, didn't I? Nope. Okay, so he must already be capped out then. So, I'm probably gonna look around for like a health boost or something like that. Hang on a second. My short-term memory is terrible. Yeah, he's already maxed for his attack percentage. Let's give him something to buff his health. 
There should be something in here. Um, yeah, why not? I think that's a fire in peril. Not that he needs one, so... There. Alright. Let's check it out. Now, I've been reading up on his skills, and I'm referring to heal. So I think I remember which ones to use. And I'm going to try to find a finisher. GL Fate, good for you. Looks like he's in his six star forms with 1300 attack. That's really good. Ah, perfect. Bullhead will work. Now, I've never done this before, so this is probably going to be a little embarrassing. But I'm going to try to do... I'm going to try to do some chaining. And again, um... I'm not an expert on the math. I'll probably have to do, do, do a bit of research to see if it's better to... So can I reload? Yes. I don't know if it's better to take the attack penalty... Oh, not penalty, but to have uh, Hero's attack power be less than optimized and run with an elemental weapon for the elemental chaining, or if it's better to just do what I have right now. Okay. I think it's Flame Blade. <laughs> I forgot which one this is main chaining skill. I know a bunch of them have the same frames. Um, I think this is the one that chains and finishes, though. So we'll try that out. So this should be Courageous Stance, which is just going to shoot our attack power to the roof and penalize our defense, but that's not going to matter because this fight's going to be over in one round. Delita is going to dual cast Shield Break. He only needs to do one, but it's like, you yeah, know, why not? And Zom is our money maker. So, I'm going to chain these two and try to bring in Bullhead for a finisher. And that's how it goes. Not bad. Let's see how much damage I did. I'm probably not going to be topping the charts by any means as far as my friends list goes, but I mean this might be a good time for me to experiment with using like a non-elemental weapon chain and using an elemental chain to see which is better. I have a feeling it might be the elemental chain. Okay, not bad. 62 million. From reading this right, not bad. So. That was my pull results and optimization of Hyo. I'll probably do a bit more research to see if I'm better off just giving him a flaming great sword. But I heard that, you know, pairing him with a with him, a chaining partner, and a finisher is also a decent way to go if you don't have an elemental weapon. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.